it's just like little <laughs> like and i've been this way my whole life cutie gang cutie girls cutie cutie before we get into this video let me show y'all my lip glosses that i did not show y'all in the other video because i didn't have them in stock this is the one that i have on now y'all and it's so cute and it's like more pink if you can tell this is the one that i had on in the other video frostbite super cute and it glass period so like my <laughs> This is more of Cocoa Vibes. Okay, but those are my three lip glosses. Um, for more information and everything about them lip glosses, go visit my business page. Make sure you follow my business page. Make sure you follow me on my real page. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you won't do nothing, subscribe to that channel, okay? But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. As y'all can see, I do talk with my hands a lot. I'm trying to work on it. I don't know why I talk like that. But anyway, without further ado, this video is going to be a Q&A. I haven't done a Q&A since I was, when I first made my channel. And then when I first made my channel, I wasn't even really for real. I was just playing. Like, I was just playing, y'all. These are questions for my Instagram. Um, a lot of questions was repeated, so I like just picked 15 questions randomly, and I'm about to um answer those. So make sure you keep watching if you want to get to know me. You know, my friend. Gotta keep watching. Period. Question number one is, what is your boyfriend name? My boyfriend name is Darius. Darius and I'm graduate so y'all just swear <laughs> did nobody ask me that question I asked myself that question just so y'all can know just so y'all can know so if you're watching this don't play with me period okay let's get into the real questions that my real Instagram followers did send me do you have a bigger passion for hair nails or makeup and which one do, could you do without feeling like it's work to be honest like, i like getting cute and i like helping other people get cute so um i got a passion for all three for real for real. the one i hate the least i mean the, the one that i don't i have the little the one that i have the least passion for that i ain't gonna say i hate but i hate the most out of those three hair because of the fact that hair takes the longest you know, hear me and like my patience is a little bit too short for all day. I, I like all three because, you know, I'm a pretty girl. I like to get pretty. Periods. I like to get pretty. I'm a pretty girl. And I like to make other pretty girls pretty. So, I mean, I might have a passion for all of them. Um, I just started doing nails. So, of course, I'm really not, you know, I'm really not, you know, I'm really not like an A1 nail tag. So, I would, really, I would have to say makeup is the one day. I can do without feeling like it's work because I can just do me a face real quick. You feel me? But nails gonna take a little time because you know I'm just starting off. And hair, you know, I just said that should take forever. But when I do it, it be late. But now, uh, speaking of hair, let's check out the natural. Natural hair, um, update, quick update on my natural hair routine. I make two gummies every day. I spray Navy and conditioner every day. And I moisturize my hair and stuff, not every day, but like every other day. Um, and I wash my hair every week. So I need to wash my hair one day this week. We gonna figure that out. What top three places do you want to visit? Top three, I'm gonna put them in order. Number three, I wanna visit is Dubai. I wanna visit Dubai. I see pictures of it, it just looks so beautiful. And I like I would have a great time there. Dubai, period. Number two is Greece. I want to go to Greece. I just love that architect architecture. I like love how Greece is set up. Like watch movies that's like filmed in Greece. It just looks so peaceful. Number one, 
the first place that I really want to visit is Indonesia Valley. I really want to go to Bali. I want to get on that swing and let my dress flow in the air. Um, yeah, I really do want to go to Bali. I don't know, but those are my three top places I would like to visit, you know. Hopefully, hopefully my time is coming and I can do a world tour and I can vlog and y'all can come with me. Hopefully, because I'm wherever I go, I'm taking y'all. Wherever I go, you coming. Just know that. Wherever I go, you go. Because we friends. Period. Is your biggest flaw in a relationship? I'll be a honey. Um, Because I know I'm not the only one. I got this bed. My biggest flaw in a relationship is I can't let stuff go. <laughs> No, I don't get corona, so I don't play. But I can't let stuff go, y'all. Like, say if me and my boyfriend um, get into it, we get into it or whatever, and then I end up forgiving him about whatever, whatever the case may be, we end up forgiving each other. Well, I end up forgiving him in this case. Um, Yeah, I forgive him, but like, it's like, say I'm just laying down or something. Like, what he did to pop up in my head, and like, I get mad all over again. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just hard for me to let stuff go sometimes. Like, it be the principle that stuff in me. It really be the principle because don't be out here trying to dog me, and I'm out here, you feel me? Praising the ground, you walk on. No, so it just be hard for me to let stuff go, especially if I'm praising the ground, you walk on. Like, if I'm out here, like, doing right now you like for real for real then i found out you like but it's just hard for me it's hard for me to get over that it's hard for me to accept that and it's hard for me to let it go even though i said let's try to move on of course i didn't forget of course i'm not over that because you hurt me so that's my biggest flaw but i mean it wouldn't be a flaw if motherfuckers would just be on it from the jump so that's their flaw too so do you regret talking to any of the niggas that you talked to i do regret talking to some of them like i i do regret talking to some of them some people i just when i look back on it i just think well i thought you talked to in the first place like what was going on in my head what would you think it's tequila? Like, then you have further people that I was like crazy about. Like, I think like, why the fuck was I ever crazy about you? Like, why was I ever crazy about you? Like, crazy, I'm crazy for even being crazy about you. If you could tell the younger you something, what would it be? Um, If I could tell the younger tequila something, I would really sit her down and tell her that you could do it anything you put your mind to just do it with all your effort start early don't procrastinate and just go for the stars and for the stars because you got a lot of talent in you and you very creative and very personable so be you and stop trying to please everybody stop trying to please everybody 100 <laughs> Stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself first. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. If you live your life trying to please everybody, you will end up in bad situations. What is your number one aspiration in life? Honestly, my number one aspiration in life, I really don't know. I would say to be successful, but it's like... Success don't even mean like you happy for real, for real. So I will really say, and I don't want to be corny, cause I ain't corny, ain't no corny person. Oh, um, my number one aspiration in life is really to like be happy for real, for real. Like be genuinely happy with whatever I'm doing, like work, I'm with. I just want to be happy, like for real, for real. I don't want to fake the funk. I don't want to be fake happy, baby. I want to be real happy. Get me in. Oh yeah skin glowing even though my skin glow anyway period check out my skincare routine if you have not are you single as of right now making this video yes i am single but 
in two hours or tomorrow I might not be single. So <laughs> that's a hard question. You know, y'all know happy. Y'all know happy, but as of right now, talking to y'all, filming this video, sitting right here. What time is it? Whatever time it is. Takia is single pet. Okay. Single. What is your biggest pet peeve? Somebody can ask me for something or like somebody know they come to me to ask me for something and they be like, what I was finna say? What I was finna say? What I was about to say? Like, babe, you know what you was finna say. Like, don't do that. I hate when people do that. I really hate when people do that. Because if you finna ask me for something or something, just say, hey, I hate when people beat around the bush. Like, I really do hate when people beat around the bush. Just come out. Come out and say it. Just, you know, be honest. I just really, I just hate fakeness. Because I could just say, that's my pet peeve. Fakeness. Just be real. What is your biggest insecurity? My biggest insecurity look was, um... It's my booty. Y'all, I hate my booty. Like, I hate my booty. Let me show y'all. I hate my booty. It's just like little. Like, and I've been this way my whole life. Y'all, I've been this way my whole life. Seriously. Like, even before Instagram, before all that. I really hate my booty. Like, like you can ask my mama. My mama, cause my mama got the worst than me. My mama booty is the worst than mine. Like all my life, I hated my booty. That's my biggest insecurity. So as soon as I get that check, you already know. <laughs> like I say, y'all coming with me. I hate that booty. And my back fat. Little baby or young boy, young boy. Like why somebody ask me to your goals this year? Well, honestly, one of my goals this year is to get monetized on YouTube. So if you're watching this, thank you. Because you are helping me reach my goal. And I really could cry right now. I almost hit my year mark on YouTube. You know, my subscribers are growing every day, honestly. And it's so surprising to me how much my YouTube have grown. How much people actually watch me. Like, I be like, really? Like, people come to, up to me at my job. Like, don't you got a YouTube channel? I be like, yeah. They're like, can you react to my song? Stuff, stuff like that. Like, I just, I really like that. I really fuck with that. So, I love talk to y'all and all that. But, of course, I would love, love getting paid to talk to y'all. It's hard for you to make friends. See, it's not hard for me to make friends. I'm a very personable and likable person. It's hard for me to keep friends. Honestly, and I'm not gonna say like cuz I'm fake or nothing cuz I'm not fake. I'm really real It's just the type of person I am like a lot of people don't get me A lot of people don't get me like you got I ain't gonna say you gotta be a strong person to be my friend But you gotta understand the type of person I am to be my friend Especially as I'm growing up like I'm not the same little girl that I used to be like where I Call my friend tell them everything that's going on in my life like, I'm just not that person no more. You feel me? I've grown, I'm mature, and I found ways. I found that it's better to keep things to myself. Nothing against my friends, and then it's just certain things, you know, I just gotta handle on my own. So it's like, yeah, it's just hard for me to keep friends. Just, like, a lot of people don't understand that. So, and a lot of people take that as me being fake or me not mess with them. When really, it's just me focusing on me. What do you look for in a guy? Honestly, purity. I like to feel secure when I'm with a guy. I, I want somebody I can feel secure around, but that's also not afraid to like express themselves to me and they could be like themselves around me because I'm a very goofy person. So I want somebody who can be themselves around me, but also can, you know, got that hard exterior to secure and protect like the foundation. But yeah, that lovey dovey sad. And that's just real. Have you ever met a nigga, got his hopes up, and then ghosted him? Okay, I'm gonna be super real. When I start talking to somebody, they have 24 hours to wow me. I'm gonna say 48. When I first started talking to somebody, like, you have 48 hours to wow me. If I, like, really talk to you, you pass level one. Because I'm not gonna talk to no anybody. So, obviously, you pass level one, which is the look part. You feel me? You, you might be my type. You feel me? I might be a little attracted to you. So you pass level one. So now it's level two. You got 48 hours to keep me interested, to keep me invested. 
And if you cannot, like, pass round two, then you feel me? I'm just gonna back out. You twerk for 10 seconds. And just because I'm in a great mood, I be okay. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all, and I just told y'all my biggest insecurity is my booty. Somebody gonna ask me, can I twerk for 10 seconds? But I'm gonna do it just because I love y'all. <laughs> Give me my guy. The last question. Now I gotta see who asked me that. Cause now y'all got me super tired. Hope this gave y'all the opportunity to get to know me better. The type of person I am. But yeah, we could be friends tonight. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. And thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. And if you have not yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah. Thank y'all for watching. I'm dropping another video soon. So turn that post notification bell on. Bye y'all.